Hi everyone, in this video we're going to evaluate this iterated integral. So we have to evaluate the integral from negative 4 to 4 and then from 0 to 16 minus y squared of 1 times dx dy. So there is an invisible 1 here. So first we have to integrate with respect to x because it says dx here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll keep the outer limits of integration, so negative 4 to 4. And when we integrate 1 with respect to x, we simply get x. I'm going to go ahead and put a bracket here. And we're going from x equals 0 to x equals 16 minus y squared. Now, you don't have to put the x there like I did. I kind of like to do that just for added clarity. In fact, let me go ahead and put a double bracket here, again, just for added clarity. Okay, so we first plug in the upper limit of integration. So this is equal to, so this is negative 4 to 4. So plugging in the upper limit, we end up with 16 minus y squared minus, and then plugging in the lower limit, we get 0. And then parentheses, parentheses, and then we have a dy. All right, let's keep going. So this is equal to, this is the definite integral from negative 4 to 4 of parentheses 16 minus y squared dy. Now I really want to do a trick here. There's, there's, a, there's a trick you can do here that will make the problem easier. Um, this graph, this is the graph of an even function, so you can, and this is a symmetric interval. So basically what's happening is that you have an upside down parabola here like this. And you're finding the area under this graph. So uh, what you can do is instead find the area under half the graph. So go from 0 to 4 and then multiply by 2. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're pros. This is calculus. We can do whatever we want as long as it's correct. So if we write this as 2 times the integral from 0 to 4 of 16 minus y squared dy. Now, uh, I'm being a bit abusive here. Uh, this is 16 minus x squared. If you were to graph this, it would be a, a sideways parabola. So it'd be a little bit different because it's dy. So uh, let's just pretend it's x and the argument is still the same. So now we can go ahead and integrate. This is equal to 2. When you integrate 16, you simply get 16y minus, and then when you integrate this, you get y cubed over 3. And we're going from 0 to 4. All right, let's keep going. So this is 2, bracket, plug in 4, so we get 16 times 4, minus 4 cubed over 3. And then subtract and plug in 0, so you just get 0, because it all goes away. Because when you plug in zeros here for the y's, they just all vanish. Let's be really careful here. So this is equal to 2. So 16 times 4, well, 2 times 16 is uh, 32, times 2 again will be 64. So 4 times 16 is 64. 4 cubed is also uh, 64, 64 over 3. And um, I guess we have to think of this as a number over 3, the 64 here. So let's write this as 2 times, let's write it like this, 3 times 64 over 3 minus 64 over 3. It's just a, a clever trick so that you can actually subtract them. So you want to write it with the same uh, denominator. So this is 2. Now 3 times 64 minus 1 times 64 is 2 times 64. I, I don't have a calculator with me so I'm trying to do it all in my head. So it's 3 of these minus 1 of these gives you 2 of those. So this is going to be 2 times so 2 times 64 is 128 over 3, and 2 times 128 is 256 over 3. And I'm pretty sure that, that, my friends, is the correct answer. Pretty cool problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.